Hello everyone, welcome to my podcast. First, let me introduce myself. I'm Kobaha. I'm an intuitive, spiritual facilitator and crystal therapist. I live in Northern Arizona. You can find information about my sacred work on my Facebook page and YouTube channel at Mystic Dragonfly Whispers. On today's episode, I'm going to talk about the importance of setting healthy boundaries. It might take some time and consideration to set boundaries based on what is most important to you, but your overall well-being is worth the effort in the long run. At some point in our lives, we all need to face our souls, as Carl Jung once wrote, and do inner work on ourselves in order to heal and transform. I have become aware that the only way to have healthy, nurturing relationships is for both people involved to look within themselves and recognize unhealthy patterns so they can do the necessary work to transform. This time has really helped me reevaluate my personal boundaries and have a new appreciation for the need for them and the freedom within them. Boundaries empower us by letting others know what works for us and what doesn't, protecting our personal space and energy. Personal boundaries are physical, emotional, spiritual or relational limits that define us as separate from others. Setting boundaries means that instead of taking on other people's beliefs, standards and feelings, we become in tune with our own. We learn to develop a more solid sense of self that helps us take control of what is important to us and make decisions that serve our value system. Interestingly, if you have had boundary issues with members of your family, you most likely have similar issues in your personal relationships. For example, in needy, codependent relationships, there are no healthy boundaries. The individual's boundaries are removed, leaving them to sacrifice their own identity to get the external love and affection they crave by meeting the needs and expectations of another. When you sacrifice your identity to meet the expectations of another, you lose your sense of self along with your self-esteem. Some people tend to blame others for their emotions and their resulting behaviors, becoming the victim. They are waiting for actually expecting someone to come and save them and give them the love and attention they desire. In so doing, they are given away all their power. Setting healthy boundaries empowers you and hopefully will teach others in your life to do the same and learn how to take responsibility for themselves. Just remember, It's not your job to do it for them. Learning self-love is really the key to this process. If you are in a relationship like this, you need to ask yourself if you are helping or are you enabling? Enabling can often be disguised as helping, but repeatedly rescuing someone from the consequences of their own behaviors perpetuates unhealthy behavior patterns. When you set healthy boundaries, you don't just empower yourself, you may also empower others in your life to take responsibility for themselves and start resolving their own problems and issues. When you stop rescuing, you help them access their own inner strength, helping them move forward, realizing their own potential. Otherwise, they will continuously look for answers and solutions 
outside of themselves, always feeling needy, incapable and powerless. So how do we create healthy boundaries? When you start becoming aware of your thoughts, needs, habits, like, dislikes, values and emotional reactions, it helps you understand who you are. Knowing who you are, who you want to be and where your boundaries are helps you establish positive relationships with like-minded people. When you become aware of what is emotionally draining and stressful, you can learn to manage yourself in those situations. Learn to let go of what no longer feels right for you. Here are some situations that may be emotionally draining or stressful. Being around someone who has negative energy is manipulative, threatening, blaming, bullying or angry. Going through a significant life change such as the death of a loved one, moving to a new home, loss of a job or divorce. Unrealistic expectations to meet the needs of someone in your life. Feeling responsible for others' emotions. Believing your happiness is dependent on the actions of others. Having difficulty asking for what you need because you are afraid of losing love. Perhaps because you experienced disapproval when you didn't behave a particular way when you were a kid. Feeling responsible for someone else's happiness. Unfortunately, most of us become wedded to our patterns. Generally, it most likely has been the narrative running through our lives for quite some time. How you behave in certain situations becomes a habit. In order to break a habit, you need to become aware of your patterns and your knee-jerk reactions to not give them any oxygen. If you have issues that keep coming up, it's important to identify the root cause and your role in them. We always have a role in them and become aware of the pattern. At this point, it becomes important to learn to catch yourself when you fall and then forgive yourself. When we react to events in our lives simply out of habit, we are unable to see clearly until we can become aware, take responsibility and choose to make healthy changes to break free from our, our unhealthy patterns. Jack Canfield said that event plus response equal outcome. You may not have control or be in charge of the event, but you control and are in charge of your response. Learn to think things through and respond thoughtfully instead of reacting in a knee-jerk manner. In order to make changes, you need to be your own cheerleader and embrace yourself for who you are and how far you have come. Don't hide from your true self. When you make a mistake, acknowledge it. Forgive yourself. Let it go and move on knowing next time you'll do a better job. The faster you can do this, the easier it will get. Don't condemn yourself when you make a mistake. Tomorrow is another day. Before you react to something, stop and check in with yourself. Is this a healthy response? Am I perpetuating the problem? Am I enabling the behavior? 
is my response based on my own need or fear? Is this an old pattern that is no longer healthy? Take a few deep breaths before you respond. A conscious response is better than an in-the-moment reaction. When you remain calm, you will realize that changing your behavior will help you and the others in your life. A calm decision to change your behavior actually puts you in control and gives you back your power. This requires letting go of the fear that not following the old pattern will somehow lead to a loss of love. At the end of the day, that's what this is all about. Which brings me to my next point. I go through times where it is easier to let go and just go with the flow. I do it with awareness and as a conscious choice. I feel like my certainty and trust in myself comes in waves. When I'm able to completely let go, I feel a sense of calm and I am able to be in the moment. When I was much younger, I was in a very difficult relationship with unhealthy boundaries. When I was finally able to let go of my attachment to hoping this relationship could be something it was never going to be, I was able to free myself from this unhealthy situation. It isn't easy to distance yourself from someone you care about, but self-care is about prioritizing your own well-being. This relationship became a powerful turning point for me because of the pivotal lessons I learned. Another important aspect is to learn to say no. No is a complete sentence. There is no need to feel guilty about expressing yourself. If you say no, it requires no further explanation. You may choose to say no, that's not going to work for me or no, that's not going to be possible. Nothing else is required. It's important to express how you feel and ask for what you need. This is about finding your voice and making sure you are valued by setting up healthy boundaries that empower both you and the others in your life. Your peace of mind and sense of self are more important than anything else. Giving in to meeting the needs and expectations of others can cause stress, weakening your immunity and making you more vulnerable to getting ill. It's so important to learn to say no when it's needed and walk away from situations that are unhealthy. Anything else is simply not worth your time or energy. Healthy boundaries offer you space to breathe, space to connect within, space to expand and stretch your psyche, space to feel into your own truth. Boundaries are yours to create for your own self-care and self-respect. They are not an insult to another, they are a necessity for your own inner development and wellness. Thank you for listening. Until next time, bye for now.